Hey everyone, this is Fabio and welcome back. This is a rather unexpected video and I don't know if it's going to be short or not. We'll see. Um, I just finished watch um, an amazing, amazing movie and I just wanted to talk about it and leave some impressions and make some comments because I was really surprised with how good this movie was. I just stunned. And the movie I'm talking about is Arian, and I want to say it just now, and really, really want to thank Johnny Millennium to let me discover this movie, because before I saw this in his uh, top 10 anime movie list, I didn't know about it, because you, you understand, there are so many anime series and movies that it's impossible to know or watch all of them, and while I was watching this list, I was very curious in some of the movies that I didn't know, um, mainly because I felt that his list is focused on very old-school anime, mainly from the mid-80s, so I was I was born during the mid-80s, and so I couldn't possibly know them, at least not all of them. And one of these big myths was Arian, and while he was talking about it, I was so curious about it, because I was like, what is Arian? And then, like, um, all about Greek mythology and all of this stuff that I'm very interested in. So I started to think maybe I should find this movie, maybe I should really watch it. But as he explains, the problem is that there is no English release of this movie. Um, the only way to watch it is to buy the original DVD, like uh, the original Japanese DVD, or I think it's possible to find it on YouTube. I saw like a French version or something like that. And I believe it's possible to watch it online. If you look on certain websites, I think you will be able to find it. So it's not impossible to see it, to watch this. But as a movie collector, as a anime movies collector, I really, really wanted the DVD. So I kind of like accept the fact that I would have to buy the... Japanese DVD and watching the movies without subtitles and not understand the story and I have to say after watching the movie you really really have to really need to understand the story because it's not it's very good it's very interesting but it's quite um, messy I will say in a good way I mean it's quite complicated and I don't want to get too much into the story because I I think it's going to be very easy to spoil it because you really have to watch it in one way or another and but I have to say as I say I was looking for the DVD I say oh well I'm going to buy the Japanese one or any other weird version of it so I can have the DVD I was looking on Amazon this uh, occasion not eBay and something caught my attention there was like the Japanese DVD on sale and right under it I saw something that say Arian Italian I was like wait a second there is an Italian release of this movie apparently there is so <clears throat> lucky for me since I am Italian and uh, I was able to watch this movie with subtitles that I understood so I was able to completely get the movie and that was fantastic so the first time I went back to Italy, uh, I think a month ago or something, I went into my usual DVD store that had a really, really good anime section, um, look around for it, and in a corner, very dusty and everything was not very um, requested, I suppose, I found Arian. And the funny thing is that the price was like, 19 euros, like 19.99, something like that. So it wasn't cheap for a very old DVD. This is a 1986 movie. So I was like, oh well, it's quite expensive, but who cares? I think it's a good piece to my collection. Then I brought it to the counter to pay, and they say, oh, you're in luck today because this DVD is actually uh, was like 5.99 or something. We, we forgot to change the price on the DVD. So lucky me. <laughs> It was so requested that they even forgot to change the price. But better for me, in this case. So, 
I saw this movie just now, I finished like five minutes ago, and I really wanted to talk about it, because this movie is phenomenal in every possible way. I couldn't agree more with Happy Console Gamer to say that this is a must-have in any top list of anime movie, because it's phenomenal. And everything, like the story, it's very good, and it's a very, very interesting interpretation of Greek mythology by the author of this story. Um, the only manga and anime that uh, I, I knew before this about that, that was about Greek mythology was the Saint Seiya, Knights of the Zodiac, and I grew up watching that amazing anime. But that was it, I didn't know anything else about like any anime or manga that were about this particular topic that as I say, I'm very, very interested into it. It's a very fascinating top, uh, topic. And this, as I said, it's a very interesting and very different interpretation. I mean, the gods in this um, movie are so different from any other gods of Greek mythology that I imagined. And, like, for example, it's completely different from um, Knights of the Zodiac. I didn't expect to see such a version of Athena, for example, that she is one of the antagonists, actually. And it's also very different how the gods are, like, um, portrayed in this movie, because they're completely different, not just in terms of personality, but also in their own nature as gods. And I don't want to get too much into this because I risk to ruin the, the story. You really have to watch this. But as I say, it's a very, very interesting reinterpretation or reimagination of the Greek mythology. And that's already a fantastic story. Um, the animation. This is a 1986 movie and it's fantastic. I couldn't believe and that this is a mid-80s movie, and it, it really could pass for a movie released like last year or something. It's very, very good, very fluid, like the combat scenes between Arion, the main protagonist, of course, of this movie, and um, the soldiers, the gods, um, the monsters, all the monsters of Greek mythology, are very well done, and I was very surprised that from a 1986 movie, I, were, I was able to see something like this. The music is also very good. I mean, the soundtrack of this movie is fantastic. There are some great, great uh, pieces of music, uh, um, especially uh, some battle scenes or some very dramatic scenes. The music is so powerful in this movie. I thought it was a perfect score for this, mu for this movie. The characters. The characters are... Um, there is a lot to say, and again, I don't want to spoil much. We have the main protagonist, of course, Arion, who is a, a demigod, actually, and he is the son of Poseidon and um, Demetra. And at the beginning of the movie, I, st I just don't want to spoil the story too much, so I'm not going to tell too much into deep about Arion and other characters. At the beginning of the story, I just want to say this, he is kidnapped by Hades, the king of the underworld, and that's how all the story of the movie started, with him, his willing to escape from um, the underworld to, retreat, to return to his mother, and then everything happened, basically. Other characters, we have the classical Greek gods from Demetra, Hades, Athena, Apollo, Zeus, Poseidon, everyone, basically. Um, some others are missing, of course, but if you also start to add the, uh, other gods, I don't know, um, uh, uh, Hermes, um, Artemis, uh, and others, it's going to be like a seven hours movie, so of course... There's already a lot of gods, uh, and it, as I said before, it's so interesting the way they're portrayed, because they're so different from anything you imagine. They're almost humans. They're, just want to say this, they're almost, they're 
it's very hard they they hardly resemble gods in a way but you have to watch for yourself to understand what I'm saying because I don't want to say what I'm trying to say because it's a huge spoiler and I don't want to give it away um, there are other important characters one in particular that you'll discover it watching the movie it's quite early in the movie so there's also uh, Gidos a sort of um, tries a, a sort of giant with three eyes I didn't I was thinking about a word to describe it but let's just say it's a giant with three eyes that Arion mm, encountered uh, during his stay in uh, the underworld there is a Seneca uh, a thief that uh, encountered encounters Arion right after he left the underworld. So the, these are main, the main the main characters. And there are so many others that Arian encounters during his journey. And so I really, really recommend this movie. It is definitely one of the best anime movies I've ever seen. Um, when I did my top 5 anime movie, I didn't include it because I haven't watched it yet, so it's already a top 6 anime movie, but I'm planning to redo that to do that video again because uh, there are so many movies that I missed and new ones that I watched and it's definitely going to become a top 10 at least so but that's for another video um, as I said I really want to thank Johnny Millennium for letting me discover this masterpiece and gem of a movie as he said I really want to recommend you this but in my case I was lucky that for whatever reason, I didn't. I don't know when or how this movie was released in Italy, and so again, I will say go buy it, go watch it. But maybe you will understand Italian, so you can watch this version. You don't care about subtitles, you can watch it in Japanese and try, try to watch this movie because it's so good. It's a really great anime movie that should be included in any collection because it's really one of the best. I really don't want to talk too much about the story because there's one of the best thing about this movie it's the story because it's so good it's, it's a very long movie it's very good very deep very dramatic but so well done and trying to explain something more it would be so easy to me to reveal something important like anything is very important from this movie so really just watch it in any way, you, any way you can. Watch it on YouTube, watch it online, try to buy the DVD. Anything goes. Just watch Arian. It's a phenomenal movie and I highly, highly recommend this. Any anime fan should have or watch at least this movie. Highly, highly recommend it. So this is it about Arian. As I again, I didn't expect to make this video, but it's this movie is so good. I like it so much that I really have to talk about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Like always, I'll be back with more videos soon as soon as I can. For the moment, just take care.